fresh garlic. Always use fresh garlic. That's a lot nicer, a better flavor. So you want to peel off the garlic. And fresh garlic is very hard for a lot of people because of the paper. Now, as you can see, garlic is pretty messy. We've just taken two, two cloves of garlic and we have this, this pile here. That's why I always try and do it off to the side and not on my board so I don't have a lot of waste on the board. Let me give this a good wipe. Get the liquid off. And uh, the easiest way for me to, to peel garlic is that and the paper falls off. It just kind of takes care of itself. You can, you know, people try and take it off like this and like that, but no. Unless you're going for a roasted garlic clove, then I would roast the garlic whole with a little oil on there and, and peel it off afterwards. Now you say that you might want a small dice on the garlic and, and this isn't the, the style you want, that's understandable. But once you have it smashed up like this, you just pretty much go to town on it. You want to keep garlic kind of small because it can be offensive uh, aroma coming off you for larger chunks and it's much easier to cook it in even, in even paste. And there we have chopped garlic. Another way to work with garlic is to cream it. And uh, you can do that with, with salt. Regular table salt, sea salt, whatever you want to use. Because it's directly on top of the garlic, so you'll have a lot of flavor in the skins. What you do, give it a good smash. This way the garlic is called bleeding. The uh, juice of the garlic starts to come out. And you put a little salt on there. If you do choose this method of creaming garlic when you are making your soups or stocks or whatever you're using this garlic on, you should take into consideration you've already salted this garlic. You will not need as much salt as you think you will, if any, in your finished product. So I just take my knife and I Rub the salt and the garlic together. The, gar the garlic is getting creamed by the abrasiveness of the salt and the garlic. And it'll turn it into a paste. And this is for something that you're doing at last minute where you just want an essence of garlic in there. But this is, this is a beautiful paste. And you can, it's, it's easy to work with. And it brings out the, like I said, it brings out the, uh, the moisture in the garlic. So you, you cut garlic different ways, you'll have different flavors coming out of them.